Hi everyone, and I'm here to make my UFC 98 prediction video. I know I'm late. I was supposed to do this a couple days ago, um, but I didn't get the chance to because I've been busy, but I figure better late than never. So, we'll get started right away with the undercard fights, and the first one is Dave Kaplan versus George Roop, and I'm not going to explain why I pick who I pick, but I'm just going to say who I predict to win that they're undercard fights, and who cares anyway, so, um, Dave Kaplan versus George Roop, I'm going to have to pick Dave Kaplan, Yoshiki Yoshida versus Brandon Wolf. I'm going to have to pick Brandon Wolf. um, Kristoff Suchinski versus Andre Guzmao, Guzmao, however you pronounce it, um, I'm going to have to go with Andre. Philip Felipe, Felipe, Milver versus Kyle Bradley. I'm going to have to pick Felipe, just because he's cuter. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, Pat Berry versus Tim Hay. I'm going to have to pat, go with Pat Berry. Um, Brock Larson versus Chris Wilson. Definitely Brock Larson. Um, Sean Shirk versus Frank Edgar. And we're going into the first broadcast fight of the evening. So I'll delve into a little more uh, detail on why I pick who I pick. Going with Sean Shirk, because um, while he may be smaller as far as height-wise and reach-wise, I believe those are his only disadvantages. Strength-wise, I think he's going to overpower Frank Edgar. Um, short, compact, um, powerful punches. I'm thinking TKO or KO victory over him. Um, Dan Moore versus Chael Sonnen. I'm going to have to pick Chael Sonnen. I think he didn't display all of his fighting skills last fight um, and his first fight in UFC. I think he will display them this time. Drew McFed versus Xavier Pukum. I don't know how to pronounce the guy's name, but I'm going to pick him to win just because I think Drew McFed is pretty much done in the UFC. Um, I think he's his the prime of his fights are over with. Um, he may surprise us, but I doubt it. I'm going to have to go with Xavier for this one. Um, Matt Hughes versus Matt Serra. Now, this one's a toughie because I want Matt Serra to win. Everyone's picking Matt Hughes to, to win. Um, I'm going to go with this as being the the upset. Now, I know Matt Serra upset George St. Pierre, and that he's probably not going to upset Matt Hughes. Everyone, That's what everyone's thinking. I think he's going to do it again. I think Matt Serra is the kind of guy that has the power to upset people, um, even being the underdog. I think he's going to pull out um, uh, a trick out of his, his bag, and um, I'm hoping, I'm not guaranteeing, but I'm hoping that he chokes Matt Hughes out with a submission, um, guillotine or triangle choke, one of the two. It'd be awesome. But I'll just take a win from that, Sarah, nonetheless. Okay, so the main event, Rashad Evans versus Neil Machida. I'm going to have to go with what people would, might consider an upset because they're going, everyone's jumping on the Rashad Evans bandwagon. I'm thinking Leo Machida's going to win. Um, I don't think it's going to be a fluke. I think Leo Machida is the real deal. He is a great fighter. And I choose him to win over Rashad Evans. I think Rashad Evans is gonna um, isn't gonna get as um, open of a look on Leonardo Machida as he's been getting on his opponents lately. His fight against Chuck Liddell gave him a pretty open look, and uh, his knockout against Sean Tillman, um, pretty much the same thing. If someone covers up and, and defends well, like I think Leonardo Machida will in this fight, I don't think he's gonna have the look in the knockout, punch, kick, whatever, against Leota, and I think Leota is going to dominate this fight. So, there you go. Better late than never. Um, I'll see you the next time in my videos. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next time there's a card, I'll do another. Bye.